So we're going to demonstrate how to put in a one shot in TIA portal. What we have right now is just a simple photo eye it turns on a red light. So when the photo eye is made, the red light uh, comes on. And if we want to add a one shot to this, so the red light doesn't stay on, what we would do is we would add in a pulse rising edge trigger. We have to give it a variable assignment. Find that. Now, let's change it. So we use a one shot for that instead. You really won't be able to see much. Um, on our online program right here. It's just one scan cycle that it's going to be able to, to, to be turned on, but that is how we how we do it. Okay, <clears throat> so That's how we do it and this is what it looks like you can probably can't even hardly see this this red light um, Come on whenever the sensor is made it happens so fast, but what would happen if you could see it would be this red light here um, is what's actually it. turning on and going to the on state for one scan speed map flash there just for a second. So not really too useful in this application, but we'll show you where we would where we would use it. Alright, so this sensor is tied into a one shot and that is found in our bit logic operations. Okay, and that's where the, the pulse rising edge trigger is found. Okay. We're going to change this. Instead of having it turn the red light on, we're going to use it to reset a uh, count, okay, uh, counter. All right, so we're going to have a counter put in here that's going to count some stuff for us. Just to have something happen, we'll go ahead and have that red light turn on again. Okay, so now what we can do, we can have our photo eye get made. We can count parts with our proximity sensor. Okay, we get to five and above. Notice our counter done. And then if we want to reset it, we simply have that photo eye go off and then back on again. Okay, now. A little bit more explanation as to why we would uh, we would need this. Let's see what happens if we don't have our one shot in there. So you already know, can understand if we don't have our one shot in there, the counter will always be resetting anytime the the sensor is is made. Anytime we have something in front of the photo eye, we're going to constantly be resetting the counter, which means it's not going to uh, actually be counting. Okay, so here. If you watch this, notice that proxy sensor is going true, but notice this counter is not counting anything. Okay. So if we want to do it, just have it reset the counter right at that split second that that sensor is made, that photo eye is made, we put in a we put in a one shot. Okay. So this would be a case where we don't have something in front of our photo eye. 
No, it'll count. Yeah, it'll count until we put something into our photo eye, but that would have to be removed. And so if we had something like a box at the end of the conveyor or a, a pallet, empty pallet, <clears throat> that's waiting for packages to go onto it, that pallet or that box is always going to be there being loaded. And so we need to use a one shot so that we can have uh, our logic work where that, that pallet or that box or whatever that carton container may be, and still allow it to reset the counter and do whatever other functions we need uh, to have with our, with our logic.